Uh, so we choose now. Um, so we can go into Nubian plus 10 additional, but that's not, that's not good enough. Um, the Akusumo mites are, uh, good on money. I, I keep, I, I, dude, we have an industry going. These guys are good on science. Minus 25% on all constructible buyout cost. Oh, they can, and then they can make a vast harbor able to accommodate up to 220 ships. And they have elephants. That's crazy. Uh, replaces harbor counts as a market quarter. Um, okay. All constructibles buyout cost. Interesting. So you get uh, a quarter off the price of buying out the construction. That's pretty cool. The goths have combat strength and influence. The huns have combat strength. Influence on uh, emblematic district. And then they also have elephants. Maya has industry. Uh, Akamanid. Persians? They have immortals. Ooh. City cap influence. Romans. Uh, one unit slot available for each army. That's pretty cool. And they have Praetorian guards. Uh, I, I kind of just want money. You know what I mean? Uh, let's do it. Let's get money. Let's go. Let's go Aksumites. I love gold. Adopted. And now my nipples are gone. Plus two money on tile producing money. So all my money tiles are better. Plus one money on territories under the religious influence. Plus three faith. Plus three money in on the obelisk. Minus stability. Plus three money per adjacent market quarter. So if I put a great obelisk around all the, all the markets, they make more money. Then I get plus one trader slot on Cedar Apple's count, which means I have more traders. Oh my God. Shotalai is our special uh, grappler. Has a larger zone of control, which cannot be ignored. Standing army. Uh, these guys seem pretty dope. So we'll get those two. Confirm. Classical era, baby. All right, all right. Okay, so these guys need to get the frick out of here because they are surrounded. And that's, that's a bad news bears. Do not like that. Let's get these homies down here um, because that's important. Um, they're still working on the, uh, food market. It's good. Um, uh, should we attach this to Kerna? We don't really need to, because they're in a safe spot up there. This is where we need to spend most of our influence for Shurzies. Um, we still have merchant, so that's good. Uh, let's end it and see what the next era brings, shall we? Uh, and turn. As Ta -da -da. urban centers grow, uh -huh. both ideas and sewage are yeah. generated at a record pace. Lots of poop. Okay. Arts and sciences flourish. Oh, what's as Bob Ross? tactics and mathematical equations become oh. as coveted as physical goods. Nice. Empires struggled to control these intangibles. However, of course. Some might trouble their stability. That's an elephant. Oh my and now, god. The Axumites. Axumites. Good with tangibles and uh -huh. intangibles. Yep. A skill that barter as they are at battle. Nice. Look at the level up, dude. Look at all those buildings. And all of our units are going to change too, eh? Bing bong. Lots of money. Give me the money! Population gain. Napata gets gain, uh, gained one. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, let's see what our our travelers turned into. Uh, right. So they got their... They got nice little caps. That's going to help them with the sun. Uh, these guys are safe. We didn't get attacked for some reason. That's impressive. Um, and we have this territory, right? We do. Okay. So I like them being on explore, but I think this territory needs to be defended, eh? Uh, let's build this for gemstones. Bam. Now we've got gemstones for days. 165 gold per turn. Napata's still working on uh, palisades. We need that. That's good. Uh, Kerma is still working on, uh, the food markets and Taigeta is, uh, ugly and not doing anything, but that's okay. We love them anyways. Um, cool. End turn. World deed locked. Sacred ground has been locked by another empire. We haven't done any, um, world deeds, but that's, uh, that's okay. The wisdom of others. New civic knowledge authorities. Your merchants trek the world, reaching great markets in far climes and selling your highly prized natural riches for much coin. 
Conversely, your emperor sees many traders from district lands um, visit our plazas with their goods, their wit, and their provocative ideas. Uh, what should we do? Uh, we don't have any influence, so I guess we can't do anything. Uh, uh, that sucks. All right. Well, we're money. We're not influencers. That's fine. So what we need is standing armies um, if we're going to get our special units. And that would be nice too because then we can upgrade these units. Um, there's nothing for these to upgrade to yet. Um, we still have the, the archers there, which is nice. Um, I kind of want to just make units here. To be honest with you, I'm still worried about um, being overrun. Although, this makes a lot of money though. 17 to 20. 5 to 23? But I can make so much money. Oh my god, it's insane. 26? Wait, 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 wait. That's crazy. That's crazy talk. That's crazy talk. Um, oh, uh, yeah, let's 26 it, man. Let's add our new great obelisk. Um, and there's still work on the food market, right? Um, what do we want to do? Right now, we're still working on bronze working, which gives us watchtowers, uh, forge, and spearmen. And maybe I can upgrade these guys to spearmen. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah. Oh my god, there's iron in the middle here too. So we need to start just, like, I don't know if we can do anything else. I don't even really want to be, like, I kind of want to bring my forces back. It's nice for them to explore this far. But I need the defense. Can these be upgraded? Uh, an allied territory. Ignores movement penalties from forests. Nice. I mean, they're, they're earning us a good bit, but uh, I'm just scared that I'm going to need them to defend our, our life. Um, I, I probably just need to stamp these guys out, too. These guys are idle here. Uh, you can, and you can heal for gold, too. Oh, my God, that's so OP. So I can instantly heal my units for gold, which is awesome. Um, maybe we just set these guys to auto-explore for now. Oh, they're going to run into them. Bro, what? What are our chances of winning here? Burians. Uh, kind of need these guys to come up this way, eh? Uh, all right, we'll send turn and see what happens. End turn. The unknown has gained renown as a merchant. Oh, okay. Uh, access you to your gemstone was purchased by the Olmecs. Do they Four love time. gemstones? They are all, they're super, they just love gemstones. They're super about it, man. Like, they're like, they love it. Uh, they have gold. I might buy their gold. 237, sure. Uh, nice, very cool. They're still in the ancient area. We're classical, so what up? What up, though? No. Oh, they didn't even attack. They backed off, man. I think they're scared of us. I think they afraid. I mean, we're getting to a range where this, like buying this out is gonna be really useful because then I can start, my population, I have one population. Um, I need to start upgrading units too. How are we looking for this? I also need to free up enough influence to start upgrading these civics because I'm just spending it on expansion right now. This isn't a terrible thing. It's just, uh, you know. Oh, we should be able to, uh, once this is done in three turns, um, we can get, uh, we can get the copper. And then we can move over to iron as well, but we need technology standing army for that. So we'll keep riding down that road. Perma got a population of one. Good. You have something to say. It bought my gemstones. for respect. You've been generous. <laughs> the attitude has changed for, and is now pleasant because we're buying stuff and they're buying and we're buying things. So that's good. Um, I kind of want to buy more of their. How much money do we have? We have 171 gold per turn, man. Uh, I like trading with these guys. Uh, it's it's going well. Um, okay. Uh, I kind of want to just maybe finish this. Let's just finish this because this increases my. This goes to 198 gold per turn. And now we have an obelisk there. So that's that's just done instantly and we can start making more stuff, um, which is good. Uh, we can make also money on market quarters for adjacent market quarter plus two money on market quarter. I think food market would be great here. Uh, this is more science, but I, dude, if we can just start getting our money out the wazoo. Um, what do we have here? That's a loss. That's a, that's a gain of money, but we lose industry fine by me is there actually like a good place for this 21 on that one 
Dude, that's huge. Yeah, dude. Let's slap it there because it's on two different tiles. The gold from that is 9 to 12, 10 to 13. Perfect. All right, I started building that then. Market quarter. More gutty. More money. More. More! More money! An unrelenting deluge of rainfall lashes down upon the great city of Kirma and the surrounding lanes. If the rains don't stop soon, the banks of the great river that threads through the city will burst, flooding the adjacent quarters. With limited time, resources, weather choices are stark. Uh, let's leave it to fate. Adapt. Limited adaptations should mitigate the biggest risks. The rains might relent. Protect. An expensive dike around the Kerma will ensure the city is protected from any flood threats. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to protect. It's not worth it, man. I, this city over here needs to keep thriving, and we have the money. So let's, let's just buy it. So, boom. Olmux forgave a grievance. A grievance has been forgiven. Oppressing my people? What? Oh. I have a proposal for you. What? Who did I oppress? I must think, though I am inclined to say yes. A grievance has been forgiven. What? Our concern for the people of Azel Fafaj under your unjust rule. Those are my people! This is mine! Oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, received. Forgave a grievance. Uh, I'm gonna accept the non-aggression pact. This will be a blessing for all parties. Uh, I accept. Oh my Marvelous god. Like first rays of daylight. Okay. Oppressive rule of my people, huh? I'm adding a market quarter, dude. They're good. They're good. Everything's fine. We're good. And turn. Bronze working researched. Bam! Portion fiery crucibles, bronze is stronger and more durable than copper and transforms tools, weapons, and armor. So now we can do the copper mine. Um, we can do forges. We can do watchtowers, which are good. Uh, also, a lot of nearby soldiers to be better coordinated. And we can make spearmen. But we need copper for that. So let's get that. Your civilization benefits from its proximity to others. Uh, Napata has been added to the sphere of influence of the Olmec. Stop! Why? A grievance has been forgiven. Oppressing my people. Hey. Oh, we have an instant boost. Science osmosis. Uh, adjacent to that. I'm not oppressing my people, dude. Show civics. We need to start dealing with civics here. Um, yeah. That's part of the issue, I think. Oh, I can make standing army. Huge. It gives us iron, city watch, and sh uh, shotelai. That's huge. Let's get that for sure. So we'll research that. Um, get that going. Uh, and then we'll be able to defend our city a lot easier, right? And they're making a market quarter over here on our supposedly oppressed city. Uh, bing, bing, boom. Dude, plus 28 gold. Another obelisk here. We lose a little bit of food. Uh, oh, it's a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. But this one's already a district, isn't it? 25. There we go. Um, and they have five population. Maybe, maybe we should just be making army. I'm mean, super scared. I'm super scared. Uh, 19 strength, 19 strength, 13 strength, 16 strength. Um, four, four, three. That's range. Uh, they go up to three stars as well. Uh, we need to get these spearmen. We need to get that copper mine. Where is that copper mine? Right over here. Um, so once these guys are done with this, we can do a copper mine, right? That'll be next. We can honestly even finish this too. Gold expedites a lot of this stuff, man. Um, so we'll be able to build that. Hmm. Maybe we just risk it. Let's do it. Great obelisk here for 25. Start building that out. Um, so that one's gonna go there. They're gonna finish up this uh, market quarter over here on our gemstones and porcelain. And then um, if this goes down next turn, I might actually just buy it. I'll instantly finish it. Um, 
And then we'll be able to just, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be able to just get this copper going because I need that soon. Um, and I think we're good for now. The question is, do I bring these guys back or not? I feel like I should, right? Maybe not. Maybe it's okay. The Olmex forgave a grievance. Well, y y shut up. God dang it. Uh, okay. The Empire's religion grows. More and more followers coming into the faith every day. Some practice their beliefs through ceremonies led by priests while others guide their own worship. It is time to give blessing to one of these means. Um, minus 30% religious district injury costs. Unlocks active action procession. Spends money in order to increase stability in the city. Okay. Uh, religious rites. Founding myths. Influence on main plaza. Faith on territory. Um, assimilate cost, higher army cost for mercenaries. I might just want to assimilate, right? I remember we'll become stronger by opening our arms. Let's do that. We'll move towards homeland, right? Uh, reasons to other groups. Yeah, let's 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 assimilate. They may have more to offer than just their weapons. Or I'll, I'll move towards that. Maybe practical. maybe we could just assimilate the Irks. We've already given them money. We've already given them money, so that's that, that's it. The flooded lands. Fortune favors you. The skies above Kerma grew darker and darker. The deluge, like a sea, being tipped upon a city, but then suddenly the clouds parted and the rains relented. Days of sunshine followed, and the threat of floods are no more. The ground is a little wetter, and people will not forget. But otherwise, life is normal again. We spent the money. Not a huge deal. Whatever. Close. The, re the unknown has gained you renown as a re as a merchant level one. What are we? We are merchant level. I don't know. Um, but we have fame and stuff. Okay. The human engine. The empire has made impressive strides in becoming a building powerhouse, the envy of the world. Now, though, to maintain this momentum, you must ensure you have a reliable stream of workers who will work tirelessly on your great construction projects. From where should you find these thralls? Oh, sweet mother of God. 240 influence? War slaves, criminal slaves. Common quarters gets food and industry. Bonus population per ransack. We need to start ransacking, man. I, I have no... I have no uh, all this obsession with money. We don't have enough influence to upgrade our civics and stuff. I don't know how bad that is, but it definitely gives us... There's pros and cons for sure. When can I... They are oriented toward individualism, which means they may not be able to... Uh, may not be able to do anything there. Let's see where these guys are headquartered. No information for the city or war outpost. Oh, what is this now? I propose a trade... Trade, Look, trade everything. This is an interesting offer that you make. Sure. Sounds good. We're loyal. Okay. Boom. This will be a blessing for all parties. Very good. Very good. Very good. We have less war support. That sucks. Um, right. How much longer on this? We have three turns left on that. 25 turns left on our standing armies. We definitely need that ASAP. Obelisk has seven turns left on it. Ooh, and we're getting so much money. It's crazy. Um, I might just finish this, right? We have 100% stability still. Uh, food, money. We need more influence. I'm just going to finish this. Boom. I'll finish the copper mine too. Boom. Access to your copper mine was purchased? Wait, why 30 gold? It's so little. Hello? Um, okay. Well, can we get spearmen now? We can. Can I upgrade to spearmen? That is the next question. Can I upgrade these guys? No. 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 Uh, can these guys be upgraded? No. There's no upgrade available. You need to be in allied territory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Um, this city needs something to work on, though. This gives stability and faith, which is cool. Um, let's put a garrison somewhere, eh? Are we going to need it against these guys? Or what? Zero to 15 money. Let's do that. Um, and maybe we can then upgrade the food market would be the next way to go. Uh, these guys are still working on that. We might be able to just start buying like instant end to these things, man. It's kind of crazy cool. 
Your civilization benefits from proximity to others. What do we get? 33 science. Nice. Um, okay. I might just want to just kill these guys, right? Can we do that? The Almex reached the classical era. They just caught up to us. Uh, with the Mor Morians. Okay. Why are you here? Uh, access to your horses was purchased by the Morians. Okay. What do they have, though? Uh, let's buy some copper. I like that. Um, let's buy some obsidian, too. Is this expensive? Not that expensive. That's fine. All right, so now we've got trade routes out the wazoo, baby. Out the wazoo. I do want to start claiming these things, man. Are these going to fight? Oh, we would destroy them. Dude. Right here. There it is. Like, you guys want to go? 92 to 76. Oh my god, they're so spread out, though. Do I have other homies that can come help conquer these people like crazy? I would like to assimilate these guys. I just don't know how close I am to doing that. They're violent and zenith, and they're individualism, dude. They're not... They're not... Individual and liberty. They're not going to want to assimilate. They won't. There's no way. And then we have to kill them. Let's do it. Instant resolution. 91 to 0! Oh, man, you love it. And they're getting stars, too. That's big. That is big. Okay. So the Urk forces have been reduced. We might want to put some... Hmm. And they have the wonder over here, too. We want that. We want the uh, Danakil Desert. For sure. Uh, we might have enough for another Civic, eh? No, we don't. We're poor on, on influence. Unlucky. Why? Dude, how do I get this back, man? Oh, I guess you just need to produce influence. That's why. I see. So that because I'm not um, prioritizing influence enough, um, we're losing out and then kind of losing that fight there. Uh, seven influence from district. Okay. Hey, who was that? Was that an independent army that I just saw? Or was that... I don't think it was these guys. I think it's the independent down here. So how do I conquer them? Is it possible to conquer? Yeah, dude. Do it. Siege. The siege begins. Your side is stronger overall. You may review the balance of power as well as the level of fortification in the battle panel. You can abandon or maintain the siege or launch an assault, which will lead to the usual battle confirmation phase. Uh, okay. Maintain the siege and progress towards your siege, your next siege weapon. Uh, we have levies. Um, fences, two out of four. So I'm guessing if you maintain, it increases, uh, your sieging, right? And then we can come in here and can we, can we have them cannot join the inner area of a battle? The action is locked. You need to research the technology organized warfare available during the ancient era. Maybe we just assault, launch an attack against the city. Uh, we have a slight chance of failing. Come on, big money. Wait, can I heal? Uh, wait, 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 wait. We win this, right? Instant resolution. Uh, yes, we gained, we gained money. And this is ours now. City cap penalty. Following the foundation of your latest city, your empire is now above its last city cap, which will start impacting your influence output as of now. There are several ways to increase your city cap, including civics, technologies, or legacy traits. Uh, the Marians bought my gemstones. They forgave, stole my independent people. Violence has temporarily halted your selling of horses to the Marians. No! Oh, Saffron! They didn't like the fact that I did that. Uh, but this is mine now. So, nice. Plus four influence on main plaza. We need that for sure. Um, we have no... Fitness there, but we have we have uh influence. Let's get this and start just getting more influence on that. It'll help for now. Um right. But we just won some good stuff here. That is very good. That is very, very good. Okay. Um, and these guys can now join this group because they lost some soldiers in the in that siege. All right, so they're now in part of it. Let's do oh auto explore God. on. Napata's has 30 reinforcement. But now we have all of all the stuff we wanted in the beginning, right? And we, we want to start researching to get iron as well. And then connect these territories. 
Uh, where are these guys going? They're coming down to defend, right? Good. Let's get those guys moving. Can I upgrade them yet? Not yet. No, I'm not in territory anyway. Uh, okay. End turn. The unknown has gained merchant level two? Wait, who's in here? Who was that? Acknowledge. A battle is underway. What? Who is this? Die. Why would you attack me, you dinguses? What a bunch of dinguses. Uh, okay. Let's get them down, down in here. The descendant of kings! A filthy wretched man has come to your empire claiming to be a descendant of one of the ancient rulers of Urkes. Without fear, in front of your whole court, he boldly tells you that people are over owed great restitution for the grave offenses you carried against his ancestors. However, he is willing to forego this redress on condition you fulfill divine prophecy and let him lead Urkes. He promises that fulfilling the prophecy will really see riches come to the city, deny him, and he promises to bring war or famine upon your empire. What is your choice? Uh, redress will be shared among all the descendants, many who bravely fought in our armies. Land and naval speed, swift. Um, uh, plus five money, minus five. Less enlightened citizens result as capital, earmarked schooling, and innovation. Uh, and then karma, festive celebrating. You can belittle them. <laughs> oh, we will ridicule the man and send him on his way. Prophecy, pa. Chance of unexpected consequences. Uh, let's accede. Shall we? Or should we speed? I would like money. For 15 turns. That sounds cool. Uh, but I think I'm gonna redress. Boom. Okie dokie. Send them down that way. What are you guys working on? Market quarter. Uh, and then you can get a food market. And I think I want the watchtower. I need to start like... You know? This is 448. If trouble comes, Ooh. five market quarters should provide you with a number of pragmatic answers. Exactly, exactly. Uh, so that gave us 284 gold per turn. Um, balance policy, influence, money, food. Do we have enough? Current world population assigned to this category. Um, industry and money and science. Does it tell us where our problem areas are? Um, it would be nice to actually have this. An obelisk of the gods. You no longer remove the construction from the chosen tile. What about uh, wonders? Right? We haven't really been looking at that right now. Right. The only game in town. Word has come to you that the annual festival in Kerma has added a foot race to the revelries. The short race is the most popular among the worshippers and give you an idea. During this time of peace, there's a danger the Empire's armies will lose their edge. A single race could be expanded into a series of games. Um... Fighting games will inspire a generation of fearsome warriors. We get plus seven combat strength for 15 turns. Faster movement or learning. Um, I think we do stamina because I want to start. Right. Let's do that. I want to start moving the units down from this area here. Um, we can invest in a resource. Oh, this is, these are independent, huh? Can I beat these guys easily? Wait, do they own that territory? No, these are just independent nerd burgers. Oh, uh, let's grab these guys. The current position is not valid. Oh, dude, that stamina is insane. These guys can move like crazy. Um, they want to have I open have borders. For you. Um, that is interesting. hmm. Do we want to do open borders with them? Offer to, to accept the Empire's proposition in exchange for 815. Uh, I'm going to counter. Pay for it. Come now. Do you think what? so little of me? Let oh, God. They refuse your treaty upgrade. How could you think the answer would be yes? What? Just give me money, dude. Understood. God dang it. Just pay me. I love gold. Urquez's population is gained by one. Uh, if territories belonging to one of your cities remain in a friendly empire's sphere of influence, then you will eventually have the opportunity to acquire more of their technologies for a price. This is called osmosis. Ooh, what's the price? Oh, I can get fishing for 300 gold? Yeah, dude. Now I can make a harbor. That's huge. 
All right. Um, are these guys gonna fight? Let's do it. Die. Got him. Military star. Good stuff. It should be able to raid this lair, actually. Ransack lair. Plus 22 money. Go kill a dragon. Good. Ransack successful. Got some money. Very cool. Uh, okay. Um, I kind of want to start setting up outposts out here. And just start connecting this land, too. Because, uh, yeah. Um, what is, oh, there's like things right there, too. Uh, 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 uh. Although we lose influence for it, and that's pretty, pretty rough for us right now. Um, maybe just keep exploring for now. Since we have the crazy, uh, land travel right now. And we'll collect, we'll connect when we can. This is 5.30 to finish. If you enjoyed yourself today, leave a like down below. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.